Okay, so let's talk about demographics. Um, demographics is looking at all of the different aspects of a population. So yeah, that's great. We have 500 polar bears. But now we need to know how old they are, right? Because um, there's a famous case of the sea turtles. And what happened with sea turtles was they were doing okay. Yeah, they were being hunted for their meat. But what people really wanted was their eggs. So people were harvesting their eggs, harvesting their eggs. And so what was happening was they weren't replacing themselves, right? So you've got this aging population, but nobody was paying attention to that. So they said, oh yeah, sea turtles are fine. We keep getting 500, you know, 550. It's great. And then all of a sudden it went to like 20 and they couldn't figure out why. And it was because those guys had aged and died and there was no young ones there to, to replace them. So looking at the demographics is really important. Also looking at number of males versus number of females. That's a huge one too. So life tables are going to be a table that you would make that would say there's miss this many individuals from the age 0 to 1 and this many individuals from 1 to 5 and that kind of thing. And that way you can kind of see what this population looks like and from that you can actually start to go to a survivorship curve and you can kind of figure that out and I'll show you a picture of that in a second. But life tables are very, very important to figure out so that you don't have a crash like I was just talking about. All right, let's look at a survivorship curve. So this is a survivorship curve here, and what this is showing is the um, mortality rate at different ages, okay? So you can see that this is an oyster, this blue line here, this is a prairie dog, the black line, and this is humans here. Um, so if you look at these oysters, first thing you want to think about is oysters put out millions of eggs based on this survivorship curve because look at their mortality rate, right? This is number of survivors over here, and you can see that not many survive from the egg stage, right? But if they get to a certain point in their lifespan, they actually have a much better rate of survival. So once they get old enough maybe to make a shell, then their chances of survival skyrocket, right? So that's going to be the type 3 survivorship curve. Then you have type 2. Type 2 is like, yeah, you have an even chance of dying or living your entire life, right? So that's how that's going to go. And then um, for us, we kind of have where um, early on, we're, we're pretty okay. And then once we get to about half of our lifespan, that's when we start to have a little bit of di the dying off happening, right? So with oysters in, this, in the type 3, they have a very high um, mortality rate in the beginning of their lifespan, and they do better at the end. Type 2, pretty much 50-50 chance all the way. Type 1, pretty good chances in the beginning, and then the uh, older you get, the less um, likely you are to survive, right? Sorry to break that to you. I know that's kind of sad. Okay, so that's going to be life tables and survivorship curves. Now, reproductive tables, those are important too because those are going to tell you at what age they can reproduce. Why is that important? Well, let's say that we're managing a population and we say, um, you know, let's say we're managing fish and we know that once they get to a foot long that they're actually going to be able to reproduce. So that's where they put fishing limits on, where they say if it's less than a foot, you have to throw it back. You can only keep it if it's a foot or more. And what that means is that probably is an increased chance that they've actually been able to replace themselves before you kill them, right? That's kind of the idea behind that. Okay. Um, so there's two types of reproductive strategies. There's big bang reproduction, known as semel parity, and repeated reproduction, which is iteroparity. Big Bang Reproduction, which is the most hilarious name, um, is one-time reproduction. So what that means is they're going to put all their resources, their entire lives, into this one reproductive episode, and after that, they usually die. Um, so examples of that are going to be things like salmon um, or like those crazy flowers that only open every hundred years or something like that. That would be Big Bang Reproduction. Repeated reproduction is repeated reproduction events close together. So they're pretty much just reproducing their entire lives. Cockroaches, rabbits, those types of things. Now, what I want to point out with this is we are talking about the extremes on either end of this. There are lots and lots of in-betweens here. It's a lot easier, though, to just talk about the extremes and just understand that there's a lot of in intermediate kind of stuff happening there. All right. Whoops, sorry. I just totally lost my spot. Okay, so um, in the next video, we're going to talk about population growth and talk about how we can calculate it and also what makes it level off.